please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. Reducing the size of a Python static library can be crucial, especially when deploying applications in resource constrained environments or aiming to minimize storage and transfer costs. In this tutorial, we'll explore various techniques to reduce the size of a Python static library, focusing on the following aspects Code optimization. Compilation and linking options. Let's dive into the details with code examples. Before starting, ensure that your code doesn't contain unnecessary or unused functions, classes, or modules. Use tools like Pylint or Flake 8 to identify and remove dead code. Reduce external dependencies to only what is necessary for your application. Unused libraries contribute to unnecessary bloat. If possible, replace heavy dependencies with lightweight alternatives. Leverage built-in functions and libraries instead of relying on external ones. Built-in functions are generally optimized and contribute less to the final library size. When compiling your Python code, enable compiler optimizations to reduce the size of the resulting binary. Use the O flag for basic optimizations and O2 or O3 for higher levels of optimization. Use the strip command to remove unnecessary symbols from the compiled binary. This can significantly reduce the size of the final library. Cython is a tool that makes it easy to write C extensions for Python. It can be used to compile Python code into a shared library, providing potential performance improvements and size reduction. By following these steps and adjusting compilation and optimization options, you can effectively reduce the size of your Python static library. Experiment with different approaches to find the best balance between size and functionality for your specific use case. ChatGPT